YouTube is attempting to make its platform more advertiser-friendly, so I am forced to remove the most offensive part of my videos, my voice. Jokes aside, my microphone is currently shot, and the part I need is in UPS limbo while flood damage in my area is repaired, so I decided to do a little experiment. And by experiment, I mean use a text-to-speech robot and pretend I'm a 13-year-old edgelord again. Maybe I'll change my profile picture into a skull while I'm at it. The actual point of this video is to talk about guns, or one gun, specifically. This one, the SPP-1, because I don't think the gun is getting the kind of respect it deserves. Sure, it doesn't explode with extreme prejudice when you fire it, and it's not got a lot of ammo per reload, but if you know what you're doing with it, and your trigger finger muscles are so ripped that they give inspirational speeches to Dwayne Johnson, then the SPP-1 is a great little gun. Each shot deals 50 damage each. That doesn't sound like a lot, but if you hit every shot, it can kill speed sharks in just one magazine. If all three of your teammates have better aim than your average drunken lout, then even tank sharks have to respect the damage output of the SPP-1. When you unlock the twin mod, then you can dish out 400 damage in less than one second. Considering great white sharks have 350 base health, that's pretty goddamn amazing. The SPP-1 can also equip all the standard ammo mods, so even if you don't use it as a main gun, it makes a hell of a backup plan. Outside of the gun itself, it is also very cheap. It only costs $500 to buy, which leaves you with $300 to spend on other equipment. That's enough for a full pack of flares or sonar buoys, or a sensor gun, or a single cheeky little sea mine, or even a med kit, if you know you're going to need one. Because it's so cheap, it is also very cheap to upgrade, so you can stay competitive even if your gold collection kind of sucks. Okay, so if the SPP-1 is such a great gun, how come so many people ditch it like League of Legends after Season 3? First off, don't be rude, you little bitch. Secondly, it's mostly because the other guns that are in higher tiers are simply more fun and easier to use. The automatic rifles spit out bullets faster than Slim Shady spits rhymes. The spear gun and volley jet are slick as hell and make people feel good when they are successful. The harpoon gun can turn into a fucking underwater bazooka. But that doesn't mean you should overlook the SPP-1. At the very least, you should give it a good manly nod when you buy it at the beginning of the map. It may not be the prettiest girl at the dance, but she'll be there when you need her. And did I mention she's cheap? Oh, <laughs>